Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the uh, CCIP demonstration here. Uh, if you haven't seen the uh, CCIP basics and you're unfamiliar with CCIP, I'd watch that first. Uh, I won't be explaining the uh, symbology or a lot of things I'm doing. I'm just going to show you an example here. So uh, you can see I'm uh, about uh, 10 nautical miles out from the target, uh, not fenced in yet, but uh, this is just for demonstration. Normally I'd do all this before, way before I get to this point. So um, anyway, uh, fence in here, so master arm on, air to ground mode. Okay, uh, go ahead and go into CCIP mode using my nose wheel steering. Okay, then uh, just going to set up, I want to drop a pair of bombs. Uh, I am going after a building and I'm using these light bombs that you normally wouldn't use for buildings. Uh, these are the Mark 82 uh, low drag dual purpose munitions. Um, so uh, I'm going to set my arming delay here. Uh, that one doesn't matter. Arming delay 2 for one second. Okay, then I'm going to go to my DD. Sorry, right here I'm going to go to allow, and I don't want to be below. Uh, I'm just going to put. Uh, I don't want to be below 5,000, so I'm just going to put a buffer here so I get the warning early. So uh, 8,000 feet. I want a warning. And. Uh, Turn off of that. Uh, I'm going to set up my target pod in case I need to find a specific target. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> let this uh, come in here. Okay, so I'm all set up. I have the uh, Target over here using F6 there. Okay, so ready for uh, roll in here. So just continue. Uh, I want to find this target with my target pod. I need to go to CCRP mode. Zoom in using my pinky switch button. And, uh, just go here. Let's say I want to hit this guy. So go. Back to nav mode. There it is. Okay, so back to air to ground. F6 for my air to ground button on the cockpit. You can see it there. Okay. Switch to CCIP mode. Go ahead and roll in on this target. Okay, I'm going to put the tipper there at the bottom, directly over this target, just fly into it, press and hold the weapon's release, and there I go. Going pretty fast so I get the immediate release. Uh, if you don't get the immediate release, you're going a little bit slow. So now I can just visually watch these impact while I'm climbing back out. There we go. This is the, the mode that I really enjoy. I, uh, I think that uh, just dropping GBUs on everything or using the uh, joint standoff weapons gets a, gets a little bit dull. Um, though with, uh, CCIP, do you need to be a little bit uh, more aware of uh, weapons engagement range, like uh, man pad, max heights, or what, uh, uh, what kind of ground fire you're going to experience. You've got triple A or something. To, uh, to take that into account when you set your uh, minimum altitude. Okay, so go back to CCRP mode. Find another target here. Uh, this. Just uh, get a visual on it. There we go. Okay, and uh, go ahead and roll in, trying to keep the speed up here. A little slow, Mach 0.67, but uh, that's going to change. Now the smoke is uh, kind of blinding me, so I'm just going to switch sides here. 
Okay, there we go. Cut throttle. Man. Switch to CCIP mode using that nose wheel steering. And there we go. Snake eyes. Cat flare. Cat flare. I get the Caution. Uh, Caution. configuration warning, so I'll just switch to Cat one. And there we go. Splash. Okay. So, uh, and if you watch my Thariopod tutorial video, I do need to, uh, to CCRP so I can move it around. TMS down on that a couple times just to make sure it's out of any, uh, area or point mode. Cursor is zero so I can get back to my original waypoint steer points and that's it that's a uh, CCRP bombing that's how I do it um, that's my fence in procedure uh, setting the master arm air to ground setting the SMS page up and then of course setting my uh, MSL floor there this is something that's uh, that relates to the uh, enemy uh, units on the ground, okay? So sometimes you might actually want to set that to 12,000 feet if you have man pads or something. Okay, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.